Hey, gang, I'm sorry to say, you know, Biden took his hatred of America to a whole new level this past Memorial Day when he actually, if you could believe it, he nodded off to sleep during the national ceremony honoring those who gave their lives that we might be free. As Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin stumbled over the pronunciation of a fallen soldier's name, there was Biden taking the opportunity to do what he does best, catching some Z's. However, his lack of care for veterans isn't just on the stage. He's actually made moves to support significant staff cuts at VA facilities in a time when he claims veteran mental health is one of his top priorities. And his administration's decision to reduce this resource speaks volumes. The men and women who sacrifice so much for our country deserve better than delayed care and reduced services. Folks, Caring for those who put their lives on the line for our freedoms shouldn't be, it should be a priority for all Americans and their mental and physical health is a great place to start. I've got my good friend and sponsor, Dr. Sarah Doyle. Many of you know her. She's with me today to discuss the issues Biden blatantly disregards. Dr. Sarah's biohacking boot camps for men and women are just some of the ways she serves veterans and civilians alike. I'll let her explain the benefits as we chat, but you can check it out now by clicking on that link below to book a call directly with Dr. Sarah to get a personalized plan created just for you. Great to see you again, Dr. Sarah. Hey there, Dr. Steve. Great to be here. Thank you. You were, you were telling me before the interview here that today is is a Turley Tuesday for you. Yeah, so tonight is when I do the 7X Method Biohacking Boot Camp. And, uh, you know, it's largely your followers that are in the group. And so we call it Turley Tuesdays. We meet uh, every Tuesday, 7 p.m. And I teach on a topic and then we open it up for Q&A. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool, mm -hmm. gang. Just click on the link below and join your fellow Turley talkers on Turley Tuesday with Dr. Sarah. It's awesome. Get your health back into shape. So, Dr. Sarah, Biden, Biden, Biden. I, I'll tell you, you know, he just seems to be the curse that keeps on giving. And I'm, I'm speaking from myself here, obviously, but just to be blunt, as far as I'm concerned, he just seems to keep proving he doesn't care at all about the men and women who keep our country free, sleeping during ceremonies, checking his watch as the caskets of our fallen soldiers are returning home. You're on the front lines of health and caregiving. You know, what do you think uh, as as a health care giver? I mean, what do you think of the Biden administration's handling of veteran health care? Well, if one goes to WhiteHouse.gov, you get one picture and it's hard to see what like, you know, what the truth is. I don't know. You know, they put all the what they're doing, you know, they're uh, working to prevent scam artists and you know, they are trying to house veterans. Um, but it's a true dichotomy because when Trump was president, the, the faith that veterans or the trust that the veterans had in the VA was at an all-time high at 80%. So it's a complete, you know, dichotomy. It's, it's night and day. Uh, you know, I get a lot of, you know, calls, booked calls from veterans naturally, and they just don't have the resources available to them. Uh, and, and, you know, there's a lot of, of course, like substance abuse and mental health issues that, I mean, how could you not? I mean, I had mental health issues after working in COVID ICU and that just pales in comparison to like serving in golf or anything like that. So, you know, that's always, um, you know, something that, and then, you know, just trying to transition into society and having the support you need, but, uh, you know, it's, a lot of it goes to mental health. And, and one of the things I do in the biohacking boot camp is I do a urine test of brain chemistry. You can actually see what all your brain chemicals are in a simple urine test. And people don't, wow. yeah, people don't know that exists. And, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the things that I want to you know, bring awareness to because you can actually see what's going on in your brain with a simple urine test and why that's not covered by insurance. I don't know. Like I, if you really want to see me get heated, uh, the fact that <laughs> you, yeah, I'll get, I'll go on my, I'll go on my, um, you go Dr. Sarah you go. here, but you know, the fact that psychiatrists, psychologists, whether it's a civilian or veteran are, are allowed to prescribe psychotropic drugs like Prozac or, um, Xanax or any of these without testing the brain chemicals first is it to me, it's, it's totally 
inhumane. Right. Like, you wouldn't, right. you wouldn't right. go to your doctor and be like, oh, you know, I'm a little chubby this month. I feel cold. They're like, oh, God, sounds like you have a thyroid problem. Here's some thyroid medicine. No, they would test right. the thyroid. They don't give you right. blood pressure right. medicine without testing your, your blood pressure. So how is it that you can take something that's already mentally teetering and already already struggling and just play guinea pig with them like that right that just really grinds my gear so i, I went off on a tangent but back to biden yeah. go ahead <laughs> no no i mean I, I absolutely and i was even thinking too in relation to like staffing cuts for the at the va facilities and what that means for for the veterans seeking care. I mean, again, again, you, you've been on the front lines sure. of this stuff, you know, how, you know, how the, you know, how it's all coordinated and how it works. What, I mean, yeah. they're seeing staffing cuts. How is that going to affect? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you. So one of my close friends here in Miami beach, she had to scoop up her dad a couple months ago from Chicago. He's a veteran and he's one of those who was exposed by some of the toxic chemicals and now suffers from Parkinson's. And she, you know, she kept saying, I just don't think he's well. I don't think they're managing well. I think I, I think I have to go get him. So by the time she got him, he was completely emaciated. And so now it's, you know, he's eating, thank God, but his Parkinson's has been mismanaged. And, um, you know, she's, you know, she, it, she said it's like a full-time job. She said, I just got off being on hold for an hour trying to get a patient advocate. So one of the things that Trump did is he expanded the third-party accessibility, meaning that like non-VA doctors could, treat VAs and they could get or veterans and get reimbursed. But um, in order to do that, you, in order to get this outside referral, you have to have, a, she said it was called like a pact or like a patient advocate. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been horrific for her. She, you know, she, she got him into a neurologist and, you know, some of the side effects of this Parkinson's medication is um, their, their constipation, um, hallucinations, and, and then he's starting to have more movement disorders. Like he, he's a fall risk. Like he's, he's a broken hip waiting to happen. So she went in, she's like, you know, what do we do about this medication? And the doctor's answer is like, well, just, you know, increase the dose. So they increase the dose. Next thing you know, a week later, he's completely delusional. He's walking around in the lobby of the condo building. And they ended up having, we call this in Florida, Baker acting. It's like when somebody is being a, a harm to themselves, I think in like California, it's called 5150. Like every state has... Like if they think they're not possibly right. suicidal or possibly harm to themselves, like delusional. So they, you know, he ended up being in, in the behavioral unit of the VA hospital for like a week under 24 seven supervision. And, you know, that was finally a point where she could get coordinated care among different disciplines for her dad. You know, meanwhile, she'd been trying for months on the phone, hours a day, hours a day, trying to get care. And it wasn't until he actually got Baker acted in, inside this inside this hospital and and still she's still fighting to get referrals because university of miami is like right there like it's literally like right. the next block over you know so she's you know because they have a lot of experimental things going on to help with these neurodegenerative diseases and that gives her hope so the bottom line is you walk into the va hospital it hasn't been touched in 30 plus years, it looks like a prison. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, two blocks down, we have the University of Miami, which is like premier care, uh, yeah. cancer institute, they have Baskin Palmer's number one in the world for I like, it's such a dichotomy. And it's such a slap in the face for those who gave their life. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. I mean, you so you mentioned uh, some of the issues he was the neurological issues he was dealing with mm -hmm. um, PTSD. You've worked with a lot of veterans. What are what are some of the issues, the health issues that you've helped them overcome through the boot camp? Okay, so uh, depression, right? Um, anxiety, sleep problems, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and then I mean, I have to combine it with like a, 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 a counselor or therapy to help with the PTSD. Right. You know, it takes like maybe with cognitive behavioral therapy. There's some therapists yeah. that I can refer to. Uh, but one of the things that we get from that urine test is we can see, like, for example, and, I, and thank goodness my friend makes good money as a realtor. So, you know, we're doing all these extra things. And one of the things we are doing is waiting for that urine test, getting her dad to do a urine test with Parkinson's in the morning when he's already lost and doesn't know where he is in the morning. But we're getting this test. And so not easy. Yeah. No, yeah. So, for example, like um, the, the movement disorder and the fall risk, well, that could be from having tremors. And one of the things that causes tremors, it's not just a dopamine thing, which is all the address with the L-DOPA medications in conventional medicine, but it could be also from glycine. 
So having low glycine can make you shaky, have tremors, and that, and that makes their movement disorders worse. So we can help that. Right. Right. I love how holistic you are in, in looking at the, the entire body. Uh, what steps, what steps do you take to better support the healthcare needs of veterans and civilians alike? I mean, if you, if you could wave a magic wand, right, what, what would, what would you, what's the, what is the ideal, uh, sort of health, a uh, healthcare approach that you'd recommend for society today? I think um, accessibility and just being able to listen. So mm. uh, I went through a, a bad car accident where I was a passenger. It's been 12 years. Uh, but I, what, I, what I needed and what I got were two different things. So when I went into mm. practice myself, I resolved to be the doctor that I needed. And that doctor yeah, is one who listened, cool. listened to the whole person, the whole picture, listen to everything. And then number two was accessible, right? So the, one of the most important things I think I do to, to ensure success in my program is I, I am accessible. We have a WhatsApp um, group. Like I contact mm -hmm. everybody through WhatsApp where I'm always accessible, like nine o'clock at night, seven o'clock in the morning. If someone is stuck with something, I'm there. They're never alone. And that's what right. makes the transition uh, easier because there's somebody really there, like a real person right. who really cares. Right, right, right. Well, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're literally nursing them. You're bringing health yeah. uh, back to them. When our Turley Talks listeners book a call with you, they click on the link below and book a call. What's, what's the process look like to get them into boot camp, Turley, uh, Turley Tuesdays, Tuesdays. The boot camp? Or, <laughs> I, what did they give you? Yeah, give us a little bit of an insight of uh, of uh, what they could expect if they book a call with you. Yeah, sure. So I honor 30 minutes and I do this for free. I usually charge for that for other people who want truly talkers. So they get 30 minutes of undivided attention from me and I help them devise a plan. And, you know, sometimes I'm not right for them. And if I'm not, I will help mm -hmm. them get the right referrals so that mm -hmm. they can get mm -hmm. the care that they need. And, um, then it's, it's really simple. It takes me five minutes to sign them up for my program. We order the, the steroid, the stress hormone test, the sex hormone test, the brain chemistry test. And then we, I onboard them. They get access to my app with online courses. They have lifetime access to that. Uh, but what I'm going to offer for, you know, Memorial day and, and really inspired me. We always do an air and sea show here in Miami beach. It's very patriotic. We have all the armed forces here. Uh, so I thought, yeah, it's great. So I wanted to do something special for our veterans where uh, I'm doing a reduced fee program where we do the brain chemistry testing because I think it's really important, especially with head traumas, heavy metal exposures, uh, and then just the trauma, trauma, <laughs> you know, the yeah. mental trauma. So um, mental, yeah. yeah, I want to offer that with a consultation and give them a, a reduced fee for our veterans because that's what they deserve. That's what they deserve. Oh, Dr. Sarah, you're awesome. Uh, gang, you heard the doctor. Come on, complete health for veterans and all of us starts with getting to the bottom of your issues in holistic medicine. Click on that link below to book a call with, directly with Dr. Sarah. We have so many Turley talkers who love, absolutely love working with her. We've only heard glowing reviews and you can be the best shape of your life with a personalized plan specifically for where you're at. So don't just sit there. Click on that link below and change your life today. Thank you so much, Dr. Sarah. It's always great to chat with you. Thanks, Dr. Steve. Same to you. God bless. God bless you too.